Hey, what's up guys? James and Cuervo from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. And today we are out in uh, South Central Texas, in Uvalde, Texas specifically, for a deer and hog hunt. So fingers crossed we bring down some large game and we butcher it and, you know, just uh, we keep expanding what Junkyard Fox is about and learning and all that good stuff. So uh, out here it's absolutely beautiful. It's very green. We'll show you more about the surrounding area. Now, we did come here back in February during a hunt back then, but we were not successful, so we didn't really film anything. Uh, but fingers crossed this time it's a little different. So we're just going to give you a rundown of where we're staying, a nice little cabin, a little outhouse and all this stuff. Uh, cool little animals in the area. So thank you for joining us. Let's get started. So here's the cabin that we're going to be staying at. It is Cuervo and I and three other gentlemen. You'll speak to them later. It's a nice little cabin, very elegant, very luxurious. A little bar there. I, we've never used that one before, but I'm sure it's used at some times. And then there's a little outhouse over there, by the way. That's really interesting. It even says outhouse right at the top. So that's really cool. So here's where we're going to be hanging out. You know, just to relax some sometimes. And then we have this gentleman right here. Hey, how's it going, mister? He's a local. He lives here. How's it going, buddy? Well, he's busy right now. Hey. <laughs> Before going in, here is the side area. Just, just to relax. Uh, that We have a grill out here that we used last time. Look how beautiful this area is. And yeah, last time we were here, we were grilling up some steaks with green chili right there. So, yeah, very beautiful. All right, so here's home sweet home for the next three days. There's old Guervo right there. Living room. Here is a fellow hunter, Steve. Getting ready for the hunt. Yes, sir. Kitchen, well stocked. Then here's my buddy Adrian. All right, and then here is the room. All right, so three of us here, one in the couch, and then there's a second room down here these are some vertical stairs mm -hmm. So it's about sunset. We have about 30 minutes left of sunlight. We can only hunt the deer, axis deer, during the sunlight hours. And then once nighttime comes, we can hunt hog. Um, God, it's so beautiful out here. Some Something from Jurassic Park. Um, anyway, this is going to be the blind for me and Cuervo. And then there's uh, 
two, two other gentlemen and another blind, and then my buddy Adrian is in another blind. Uh, and then this is what I'm going to be using. This is uh, Adrian's 30 6 rifle, so classic bolt-action rifle, uh, strong enough to take down medium-sized game. And uh, it's got a, a decent, a really good scope, and then a uh, night vision laser for nighttime to help me out with that. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay, folks, so here we go. I took a shot at around 10, 8.10, and I got this pig. It appears to be a male, about medium size, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just making sure that he's gone before I, I inspect the body, see where I got him, but uh, there we go. My first big game hunt, or at least larger game than usual. All right, so I took down this good-sized boar right here. It appears to be a male. You know, it's never easy to take a life, guys. I'm, you know, I don't take that lightly. But you know, we're gonna use the best we can. The meat's gonna provide for all of us. Um, you know, so it's gonna provide sustenance. You know, so we're very thankful for that. I'll see what I can do with the rest of the bones and the skull and all that stuff to hide. See what we can learn to do with it. You know, to not be wasteful. And uh, we're very thankful. So, first time in Junkyard Fox history. This is a good sized pig, man. All the way over here. Okay. So, okay, so just straight through right now. Straight through. Beautiful. Out. Do it on the other side, right here. All right. All right. That's a good sized blade. That's why I liked your blade. Okay. Awesome. Now. That is a good sized blade. So we brought back the boar to the processing area. Apologize if we look all super sweaty and stuff, but carrying this guy and then, you know, it's super humid. We're right next to the river. Uh, and this is my buddy Adrian who invited us to the hunt in the first place. Howdy. Uh, we used his rifle as well, so thank you for that. Of course. And he's going to instruct us on how to go ahead and process them. I've never processed large game, so this is his area of expertise. And uh, I always like to bring in people that, you know, understand and comprehend subjects that I don't yet. So uh, take it away, Adrian. Awesome, man. Well, again, great shot, man. This guy did not suffer a uh, good, clean uh, dispatch. And uh, this is going to provide plenty of meat. Right here, we're looking at about 140 to 150 pound boar. Yeah. You can tell this one's a male by the uh, appendages that are right here between its legs. And of course, these nice tusks. Uh, I'm going to teach you eventually how to make a European mount so you get these tusks out uh, and looking good on your on your desk there at Chimper Fox. Okay. Awesome. But uh, so what we're going to start off with is you already made a, a couple of incisions already using that beautiful snake eater of yours. 
but uh, we, we did the incisions to get us up on the gamble. This rig here in Ovalde, Texas, here at the, uh, at the uh, OvaldeHillCountry.com uh, ranch as a, a motorized gamble, which comes in handy, right? Yep. So just like you're watching CSI Miami, right? And they're in the, they're in the coroner's office. What's the first thing they do in the coroner's office? A Y incision. Right? Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've never so, seen that. So uh, a <laughs> Y incision is going to use a thing called a gut hook. Here. Okay. Okay. Maybe the next variation of uh, snake eater snake has a eater. gut hook on it. Okay. <laughs> so you've already started. We need to make a little bit of room here uh, right by the testes uh, to make sure we were able to spread the legs apart. But it's real easy. Once you get that, that uh, pointed hook part in, mm -hmm. all right, it just acts like a zipper. Yeah. Okay, that unfortunately, sorry, uh, YouTube world, this is going down his uh, male appendage. We're gonna go all the way down to the neck. And you can see this guy has suffered some trauma in the past. He must have been fighting, okay? This little boy must have been trying to fight for a mate or something, but he actually has a big old cut right in his chest cavity. You think it was another tusk, like another male? I'm willing to think it's that because I don't see any bullet wounds on him. So from here, we're gonna do another Y down to the other. So each armpit is going to have a, a, a section going to it, okay? And then you notice we're all the way clean, all the way up to the top. Let me open up this spot here. And he was shot from the spine and came out of shoulder, right? Yeah. So yeah. the reason why it was a good humane kill is you put it right through his spine. We'll, we'll try to dig out the bullet uh, or, or let you know where the fragments of the bullet went through. Uh, but yeah, you went in through the top of his spine right here and came out through the shoulder and i noticed that you had to have probably hit the very top of the lungs because of the color of the blood that was coming out of them mm. it was very oxygenated so it was more than likely through the through the lungs but um so from here we're going to start opening up the rest so here we'll do another y all the way up to the to the top Okay, so we finished uh, butchering our pig, our boar, and then the other gentleman, um, Steve, he was able to bring down another boar, so he's currently finishing his up. Uh, I, Gorvo and I and Adrian already came back to the cabin, uh, washing up and relaxing for the night. You know, this was a seven hour drive, I think longer because there was some delays. So uh, we were already pretty beat and then it's like humid and hot and muggy and all that stuff. So uh one pig is good enough for today well two of them 
Uh, so from here, we're just going to relax, unwind, have a couple of beers, um, and just relax. And uh, that's about it. We'll, we'll resume the hunt and, and some fishing tomorrow. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'm very proud, um, you know, of making that shot. I'm very, you know, glad to have learned that Adrian was able to teach me, you know, how to quarter large game and uh, very impressed with the snake eater. The snake eater went above and beyond, you know, processing large game. Uh, I, it does need a little bit of some honing, you know, with all the the thick hide and the fur and the mud and all the dirt that, you know, these creatures have. Uh, it can use a little bit of honing. So I'll be doing that. Have a couple of beers, but uh, so far, great start to our adventure. So it's the next day. We just had a couple of beers last night and then that's it. Just called it a night. We were tired from the trip and, and then all the, you know, the hunting and, and the processing game. Uh, the next day, though, we're out here. We already had our coffee and then we're out by the river. This is the, what river? The Nueces. Nueces River. And uh, yeah, we're just going to relax out here. It's nice and cool, refreshing. And uh, we're going to try some fishing. Hopefully we can bring in some bluegill at least, so... So we fished for a couple hours. That was really fun, uh, but it's getting really hot right now. We didn't really have a lot of success with fish. We had like three or four little bluegills. Uh, sadly, I could not remove the, the hook in time because they were swallowing them, so they died. So we have about three little fish that we're just going to fry up just so that they don't go to waste. Uh, but for now, time to relax and cool off because it's just a really hot, muggy time of the day. And uh, I'm just relaxing with my homies over here. Hello. Chiba, where'd you get to? There's the handsome boy. <laughs> Cooling off? <laughs> beautiful place, beautiful land.
We got steaks with pepper jack cheese and some jalapeno poppers. So time to eat. So earlier we were fishing and we caught these three small bluegill. Now these are very tiny. Sadly, they did die. I was not able to remove the hooks in time, the hook in time. Um, they're, they have very small mouths and just, I couldn't get, out, get them in time. So they just weren't swimming when I put them back in the water. So I don't want their deaths to be in vain. So uh, I'm just gonna scale them and gut them and uh, we'll cook them up at some point during this adventure. Uh, so the knife I'm going to use is my current boot knife, which is my Exodus Adventure Craft knife. So let's get to it. <laughs> This one's a decent size. So we are back in the cabin. We hunted for several hours. Uh, we had no luck. Uh, we ran into white-tailed deer, but those are not in season. So, you know, we couldn't act upon that. Um, that's about it. So after three hours, you know, we were just beat, honestly. It's just very hot, very muggy, very uh, um, humid. So we came back, uh, me, my friend Adrian, and uh, Cuervo. And we're just unwinding. They're in there. Um, watching tv and just relaxing charging their phones i showered so it feels so good to shower after sweating for two days um and uh, yeah just unwinding i'm having a couple of beers nothing too crazy because i'm gonna call it a night early we all want to be out there 4 a.m 5 a.m sometime around there and you know still try to bring something down um i'm hoping to still bring down an axis deer so we come back with uh you know boar meat and axis deer meat so that would be really nice so Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Got a little guest here, a little buddy. A local. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Whoa, now it's a party. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Thank you for allowing me to be a guest in your home.
Well, we went hunting in at, early at dawn. We had no luck. We saw squirrels and rabbits, but not a single deer or pig. Uh, so we went back. We rested, ate. And then we went fishing, as you saw, and we caught two bluegill. This is a decent-sized bluegill that we're going to eat. And then there's a smaller one. Once again, when they swallow the hook, and I'm just using my Leatherman pliers, I just wasn't able to get it out in time. And, uh, you know, he, he didn't make it. So we're going to bring them with me. And we're just going to gut them because we're going to cook them up either t today or tomorrow morning before we head back to town. So uh, we're going to be gutting these fish. And uh, today we're going to be using the mini snake eater. So just a, a smaller version of my knife design. And uh, this works really well. So let's get to it. Living the life, my buddy. <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready to hit the blinds again. One more night of hunting, except for this guy. He's just gonna watch the cabin. Adrian, uh, just a quick rundown of what your your setup is for hunting tonight. Sure, so what I'm using is a 300 Blackout AR-15. Uh, this is just a, a homemade uh, rifle pieced together. It's a side charging rifle. 300 Blackout's a real good round for up close and personal <clears throat> uh, shots. You don't really want to shoot past 100 yards with 300 Blackout. Uh, it's a hard hitting but uh, slow moving round. Uh, and then I'm using an ATN uh, Excite 4K with uh, a Reaper uh, IR kit. So I own the night. <laughs> I can okay. see pretty darn night clear vision. at night. Yeah, yeah, that round is pretty, pretty solid. It's a pretty big round. All right, yeah. so. Uh, the other two hunters are, have been already out there for about an hour, and now mm -hmm. Cuervo, Adrian, and I are heading to our own blinds. Yeah. And uh, good luck good. for tonight. Good hunting, brother. Well, folks, that is about it for us. It is officially Sunday morning, so this is our third day here, and we're about to start packing it up and making the seven-hour drive back home. So we were unsuccessful hunting last night. Uh, last night, we were out here till about 1 in the morning, about 1.30, and we really didn't see anything but raccoons, sadly. So we were unsuccessful, and we kept dozing off you know, while we were in the blinds and we just decided, you know what, let's, let's at around 1.30, let's get back to the cabin, rest, eat, and then we'll be back out at three or four in the morning to hunt a little bit more. That didn't happen. We were just passed out and um, we were just exhausted. This is a lot of fun, but it's really hot and humid. You know, it, it does take a toll on you. Um, but yeah, great experience. I know one of the other hunters, Steve, who got a pig after I did the first night, he actually got a second pig. So that's really awesome. And uh, that's about it, guys. So we are very grateful. I'm, you know, I wish we could have, you know, in a perfect world, taken on a deer or something. But at the same time, we don't need to get, get greedy. I mean, this place already provided for us a large pig for to feed me and Cuervo's family, and also, um, you know, a couple of fish too. So once again, we can't get greedy. But that's about it for us, guys. We're about to start packing it up. So if you have any questions, suggestions, you know. Um, any pointers on how to cook up that pig because there's going to be a lot of campfire cooking involving that guy pretty soon so uh we're very blessed and happy with this adventure you know i'm always looking at how we can expand junkyard fox in, ter in terms of content as well as us how to grow as outdoorsmen as hunters as storytellers and uh, this was a great experience and i hope you guys like it big thank you especially to patrons who make this possible there's a good chance this video is not going to be monetized due to you know the pew pews and the and the and the pig and all that stuff so you guys make this possible uh don't forget patreon soon as i get back to town we are gonna give away a brand new exodus adventure craft knife and uh 
We have monthly giveaways on Patreon if you are interested in checking it out, including later on this summer, a brand new snake eater knife, my, my knife design. So uh, thank you all. You guys are the MVPs of Junkyard Fox. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure, this video, and we'll see you guys next time with another one. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.